presented by Parade Deck and produced by the Unarmored Talk podcast. This is a ParadeDeck.com original. Join the host, Sergeant Major Mario P. Fields of the Unarmored Talk podcast and his guest, the iconic Kevin Major Howard, known to many as Rafterman from Full Metal Jacket. Together, they explore the upcoming documentary, A Modern Art Masterpiece, The Untold Story of the Making of Full Metal Jacket. To learn more about the Full Metal Jacket documentary, subscribe to Parade Deck. If it's military, it's on the Parade Deck. This is my bro Joker from the island, and this is Rafterman. Rafterman. Hi, I'm Kevin Major Howard. I played Rafterman in Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. And I'd like to introduce you to an exciting new documentary about the making of the film. I think the bizarre stories about Stanley Kubrick have been created because, you know, he chooses not to do interviews, and so people have to make up stories about him. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. Revelry! Revelry! You will not like me! And I believe there's a tremendous amount of violence in there, and, and I know for a fact that Stanley Kubrick is an anti-violent type individual. A groundbreaking new documentary exploring Kubrick's legendary war epic. Actors are sometimes undisciplined enough not to go home and go to sleep at night, and they go out, and they come the next day, and they haven't learned the lines. Prepare yourself for the ultimate examination of this cinematic masterpiece. From its very inception, adapting the original novels. How can you shoot women, children? Easy! You just don't lead them so much! <laughs> the script writing process, through the stunning art design, the unusual casting process, the challenging UK shoot through post-production, and its eventual release in 1987. Turn over. Quite City Interviews, 1234. Exclusive, never before heard interviews with the key players. Private Joker has uh, Born to Kill in his brain, and he has a peace sign on his heart. Peace symbol, sir. Here are the perspectives of lesser known contributors, such as supporting actors, I'll fix it up, sir. crew members, and other behind the scenes personnel. Animal Mother cuts the head off the sniper. Rare photographs, footage, production materials, and archival interviews. It also suggests a sort of post-combat euphoria, which you see in uh, Crazy Earl's face, you know, after he shoots the guys that are running out of the building. That great look on his face of euphoric pleasure. Suddenly the music starts. How well everybody's heard about the bird. An in-depth and intimate journey into the making of one of Stanley Kubrick's most revered films, told by those who were there. You're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece. Modern Art Masterpiece, The Making of Full Metal Jacket. Hey, start the cameras. This is Vietnam, the movie. Yeah. Today, you people are no longer maggots. You're part of a brotherhood. From now on, until the day you die, wherever you are, every Marine is your brother. But always remember this, Marines die. That's what we're here for. But the Marine Corps lives forever. And that means you live forever. If you want to see this film get made and officially be part of Kubrick's legacy, then check out the different levels of support and the great perks. Please, share this campaign with anyone you think may want to get involved. Talk the talk. Do you walk the walk? Right. Looked like something, didn't it? Funny. Thanks for watching. Roger out. Everybody, welcome back to Unarmored Talk Podcast. I have a another special episode. Um, I um, I won't tell you guys how much I've paid Kevin Major Howard. No, I'm just joking. He's did. They're amazing people and his lovely bride. But let's just get right into it before I uh, turn it over to Kevin um, Major Howard, who you guys know the deal. Rafter Man and Full Metal Jacket. A movie that shaped me before I became a Marine and uh, turned over to his lovely bride and uh, an amazing guest today. Um, I want to say thank you, guys. Thank you for supporting the show as we hit year three. And we are doing amazing things around the world in 40 plus countries and territories, 800 plus cities and almost approaching 90,000 views on the YouTube channel and 10,000 downloads on so audio. Thank you. And last but not least, all the money we've generated to support Still Serving Incorporated. 
our my amazing nonprofit. So we're done with that stuff. Kevin, Major Howard, Tiffany, Kevin, welcome. Rafter man, what's up? Hey, Sergeant Major, just it's great to see you again, sir. That's <laughs> great. You look good. I'm blushing with my eyes. <laughs> well, if we could just kind of, was that Kevin? I want to introduce a couple of guys that I brought with me today. This is Lou Pizarro. A lot of you probably know him from Operation Repo, uh, syndicated in how many countries? It's just all over the planet in multiple languages, so we're, we're blessed there. And I just want to say, uh, how are you doing, Sergeant Major Fields? I am doing amazing, man. It's just, you know, still five foot two and a half and trying to be the best Marine I can be. <laughs> man, I, I look at you and I just want to scream, hurrah, you know, and just start. <laughs> it's exciting. So. <laughs> I, want to introduce, I want to introduce Stephen Rigg. Stephen and I met, uh, we did a podcast together for the Stanley Kubrick Appreciation Society, and uh, we got to talking. And this is why we're here today, is to talk about a documentary that we are making called a modern art masterpiece. And Stephen Rigg is just so talented and, and has a really good understanding of Mr. Kubrick. You're gonna love his accent. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, wait a minute, Stephen, say hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, oh, sorry, I already, I already said hello earlier. I forgot we were uh, we're saying it again now. Uh, hi, Sergeant Major, how are you? Uh, I'm doing amazing. And the cool thing is about this platform, Stephen, it's on Armored Talk Podcast, so we're good. <laughs> Excellent. Good to hear. All right. Uh, so yeah. to, to lead your audience into this conversation, I would like to say working with Stanley Kubrick was really an honor. What a blessing in my life. Uh, Lou Pizarro and I have been talking about working together for quite a few years. We've known each other, I guess, close to 15, maybe years, 11, 15, somewhere around there. Yes. And uh, we got to talking about uh, Full Metal Jacket because he is a Marine. And uh, I, I began to explore it with uh, Stephen Rigg as well. Stephen is actually in London as we speak. And uh, he's where the film originated from. So we have an awful lot of assets in our repertoire that we would love to expose in this documentary about Mr. Kubrick, about the backstory of Full Metal Jacket, and some of the contributors would be uh, not your average cast, but those behind the scenes and some of the extras and anybody who's got a great story to tell about Mr. Kubrick. And I'm going to leave it between Lou and, and, and Stephen at this moment because I can just ramble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> nope. Yeah, yeah so, so like... Uh, like Kevin just said, we are going to be digging deep to find as many people who worked on the film, whether it be on the shoot itself or in the maybe in the editing department or the writing department. So we're going to cover, try and cover all aspects of this production and um, speak to anyone that we can speak to. And we've got a big list, a big list of people of potential interviewees that will all have amazing stories to tell. Because we've we've heard some amazing stories from. Uh, Kevin and Matthew, you know, some of the lead actors, they've told some great stories. They've all got more stories that they don't tell in the past, but they're ready to tell this time. Um, and also the people who've never spoken. So it should be really enlightening and it should be really in-depth. And I can't wait to start getting these interviews in and putting this show together because it's going to be, it's just going to tell, these people are going to tell the whole story of the making of, and it is absolutely kind of an amazing story. And I don't even know what that story is yet. I know little bits, but I just know there's a lot to a lot to hear yet. I know there is. Wow. Yeah. And, and you know, and, and and thank you, Stephen, and and the the you know Kevin and and, and Lou the and with the efforts and and Simper Fire, by the way, Lou. But you know, I want to give yeah. that to you up front. And and I look, I look, hey guys, the, the approach you're taking of the behind the scenes. Uh, you you know, what did it what did it take behind the scenes to make this classic film? become real and then how can we learn more behind the scenes uh, uh, you know to, to, to things to highlight things we don't know about about this amazing film the cast the producer of course Stephen, and and so on and so forth Lou, what's your thoughts you know it, it's at first just kind of to touch on a little bit you said how long did it take it, it took well over a year to get this thing done but i think once kevin major howard shares 
one of his stories with Stanley with you, you're going to get an idea of just the different seeds that were planted, you know, and the strategic genius, you know, of Mr. Kubrick to get this done, you know, and, and it all came together. It was everyone. It just came together, you know, to a, a very iconic film that every Marine in every country on this planet loves. That is for sure. So, oh, yeah. Uh, and like I say, you know, it's like different militaries, you know, from different countries. They have their version of the Marines. And this is their movie. Right. Regardless. You know, right. so and and I'm sure, like I say, if there's a, you know, another race outside of this universe, guess what? I'm sure they have Marines there, too. And this is their movie. <laughs> so, oh yeah and you know and finally there um we're going to explore a lot of things especially something i've been really really focusing on and working on um is the whole vietnam thing you know i'm, I'm a big fan of that era i had family members that served in vietnam and although the movie was not filmed in vietnam we're going to visit vietnam and show exactly you know, um, where Stanley Kubrick depicted, you know, like, for example, we're going to go to Da Nang. They did not film there. They filmed that over there with the, with Steven. Um, <laughs> so, and it's just going to have like a really, really cool feel. People are, are going to say, wow, you know, if you look at the movie, Sergeant Major, you would never know that they did not film in Vietnam. I would have. I just learned this on the show. Uh, Lou, uh, you, you know, and, and, and the thing, too, I love about watching the trailer is I would have never known that Mr. Krubik that w was anti kind of conflict. You know, not, yeah. I believe in peace and not war. And, and, I, and I believe that's also critical in regards to the brilliance of Stanley. And, and you would have never thought that he was kind of it was like an oxymoron. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And, and it's shaped me to this day. I mean, I can I can talk to any Marine. I mean, they could be someone who's seven years old and think they want to be a Marine. They know <laughs> full metal jacket and rafter, oh. man, and, you know, and the, you know, the, the gunny. And so so so, Kevin, what what inspired you to to choose to go after this, you know, doing this documentary and, 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 and taking another step further? You, you know, a lot of our youth today don't understand the cost of freedom. And mm. I think this Full Metal Jacket was such a big influence in my life uh, that I began to search out, how do I repay those heroes? Uh, and it began with Fueled by the Fallen. They were a 21 car salute from me and my wife back to America so that we could remember the heroes that paid the ultimate sacrifice. And to break it down for you, it started with a 1963 Chevrolet Nova. We turned into our Marines tribute car, and that carries the 864 of our brothers and sisters uh, from Iraq and Afghanistan, the war, uh, on that particular car. And then it evolved with all branches of service, became three police cruisers uh, for those that paid the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. And then we rounded it off and completed the story where it began uh, with uh, uh, the 9-11 Angel Camaros. Uh, these cars tour our country and give back uh, to educating the young babies who are going to inherit the American flag. They can't walk into their future if they do not know their history. So that's what Full Metal Jacket has done for me. And I think mm -hmm. the reason for the documentary is First, there's the man, Stanley Kubrick himself, that I would love to help under, uh, others understand that it isn't just a camera and a lens kind of guy. This was a human being with a big heart. And some of those stories I'll share with you uh, during the documentary. But more so, it's my ability uh, to have this voice and that maybe I can weave uh, yesterday's Vietnam vets with today's contemporary Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, battlefield soldiers um, in uniform. And I want to educate our babies today about those costs. Um, tell some of these stories of our men and women coming back home uh, with PTSD today and why the 22 to zero factor exists in all of our lives and how we can all participate in making that become uh, a service from us to them where we can put our arms around them and maybe stop 
somebody from committing that suicide. Um, yeah. If I can take Full Metal Jacket the yesteryears and combine all this evolution to today's uh, battle-worn uh, uh, uniform, uh, then maybe we can understand each other better and be better neighbors and, and just be a better country. So I'm hoping that through this journey and with Stephen Rigg, who's got an awful lot of assets towards the backstory of Full Metal Jacket, then we can weave the new story into it and hopefully change the world a little bit better a place to be. You, you know, you, you know, uh, Kevin, I, I always thought that I was one person who cared genuinely more about humans on Earth. Uh, than anyone else. I've never met anyone that cares so much. And I've, you know, we've done multiple interviews. Yeah, we have. You care so much about people in the future that if I could like build a business concept around your gen generosity, I think we would be super wealthy when it, <laughs> when it comes to care. So I, I just want to stop real fast and just say, thank you, man. Because uh, you don't, you can't send anyone to the university of care. And, and you and Tiffany and your team, you guys just care so much. And so just want to highlight that to the audience um, that, you know, and, that that very and, um, invaluable soft skill that you have in your heart, man. Thank you. And, and I want to reach out to any man and woman in uniform. And I want you to be a part of this documentary. Go to our Indiegogo page and see how you can participate. Uh, I need you, brothers and sisters. I really do. This story needs to be told. Yeah. Today um, is our day to move into our future tomorrow. So please, Indigo, I I'm sure you're going to put the link up there for us, Sergeant Major. Um, go ahead, Tiffy. I have a little ask of everyone that's watching. So I know you've heard Full Metal Jacket, but how many of you have actually recited a line from Full Metal Jacket? <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, wow. you've actually recited a line <laughs> You owe us five dollars on the Indiegogo, yeah. so this is a way to get you guys involved. So you watch that movie over and over. I'm going to challenge you. If you've actually recited a line, it's a five dollar donation to help get this project <laughs> going. Uh, and, and by the way, and thanks for Tiffany. She 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 <laughs> she's the wife. She will ask. Um, I want to say to some of the heroes that we're going to meet, some of the heroes that we have met. I, I want your voice in this film. Uh, this documentary. Everybody has perspective on Full Metal Jacket, on Stanley Kubrick, what it means to the contemporary guy today as it was to the guy who watched Lolita or 2001 Space Odyssey. We all have a relationship to this man's work. And uh, this is our time to tell that story and keep the future kids uh, enlightened about art and freedom and cost. Um, Ray, yeah. Stephen, what would you like to jump in on well, how do I follow that? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not a military type of guy, so I, I can't really talk on the military terms, but I'm a film sort of guy, so I can swing it back around to the documentary and things like that. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just really excited about um, getting started on this documentary. Um, Lou, Lou mentioned a while ago, if we don't reach the full target that we're trying to, you know, we've got a budget, that we need to raise to be able to film uh, interviews in the UK and the US uh, and to get licensing rights and music rights and things like that. So we have got a, bu a budget that we, we need to achieve, but if we don't achieve it on Indiegogo, we'll still be going ahead. Well, that's what Lou tells me. <laughs> we will we will push on through. I mean, I'm from, oh, an yeah. indie, I'm from an indie film background anyway, so I've never had um, trouble getting started, really. You just start without as much money as you'd like, basically. <laughs> yeah, Lou, you want to add to at this moment? What was that? Uh, Anything you want to add at this moment? Oh no, you guys are doing a great job. I'm just excited to be here. You know, so <laughs> thank you guys. I, I mean, th this is. I guess I could add, you know, the excitement to be part of this project and just the, you know, the, the commitment, the responsibility we have, you know, uh, to really continue the legacy of our Marines and our military and Stanley Kubrick and the audience. There's just so much involved that we really, really, you know, um, are excited about this. And we're looking for everyone to jump on board and, uh, you know, and be part of this project. I have another yeah. one. Go ahead, Tiffany. 
I had another way we can jump on board. We just talked about our our men and women were losing 22 a day uh, to, to, to suicide. There was a challenge that we were given and that was 22 push-ups a day. So let's start back getting stronger as a nation. Do our 22 push-ups, but on those 22, let's put a dollar for every push-up you do. So $5, remember, if you recited a line, 22 if you've got a commitment to save a hero's life. I, I love it. You got, of course, you already had a donor for me, but uh, you guys heard it, you know, five bucks. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you guys spend that on a burger with no cheese and some talk. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Five bucks. <laughs> so, listeners and viewers, you, sh shame on you listeners and viewers. If you don't donate more than five bucks, shame on you. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Make Mario short and bald and make him retired. Donate, <laughs> support this film. And if you're a Marine, it's our film. Come on. You know, yeah. we, we, you know, that's our film. So donate, support, and and be a part of this legacy with Stephen and Lou and Kevin and, and yeah. Tiffany leading this effort. Kevin, before yeah. I let you go to continue to have fun and doing what you've been doing around the world, and that's making an impact worldwide. Any last comments you want to leave folks, man? Uh, we're in a time of struggle the world over. Yeah. My father always uh, empowered me to know my neighbor by their first name. And the reason being is when you know somebody by their first name, you pay respect to each other. You don't fight over a parking space in front of your home or his home. Mm. Learn your neighbor's name. It is such a vital importance today because we've lost respect for each other. And I got to tell you, it's breaking my heart that we don't participate in a more respectful manner. There's a motto that Fueled by the Fallen has, and it goes like this, seven forgotten words, let's remind our children of them. And that is please, thank you, yes, sir, and no, sir. Yes, sir, no, sir, please, and thank you. When we do this with each other, we open a door for somebody, we become a better person. We feel a little better today. Our country is out of control. Um, that's my two cents. I hope we change it with the Full Metal Jacket documentary mm -hmm. and expose an awful lot of our heroes uh, through this effort. Well, let's do it. Thank you so much again, Kevin mm -hmm. and Tiffany and, and, and Lou and Stephen for coming on the show. I love every single one of you guys. And I'll ensure that this, you know, the links are in the show notes. Uh, but until next time, everyone, thank you for tuning in for, to this special episode. And God bless you all. God bless your family and friends. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, God sir. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant Major. You will thank welcome. you very much. You know, so uh, one of the things I, I wanted to just give a shout out to uh, my son, who's out uh, at... Uh, He's from Fort Bragg. He's in the Army. Uh, he's doing his tour in Egypt. He's a Black Hawk crew chief instructor. A uh, lot to love to you, son. I love you. And also, um, everybody, please listen to Sergeant Major Fields. He said donate $5. And if you don't, he's going to PT you till you die. Oh, <laughs> Did I just recite a line, Tiffany? I'll cost you $5. I guess it's going to cost me some money, too. Anyway, I appreciate the time and the efforts, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, hey, guys, just so you all know, listeners and viewers, I had to go back live so you all can get this extra bonus. So, since I gave you an extra bonus, that's $10. Oh. I'm a PTU till you die. <laughs> oh, wow. Until next, next time, everyone, we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Visit ParadeDeck.com for more original content, movie trailers, and over 90 military storytellers. If it's military, it's on the Parade Deck.